Hello beautiful people, Robin Thomas here, also known as Braised by Rye. Welcome back to my channel. If you are interested in my updated technique of blowing out kinky natural hair, please stay tuned. Alrighty, so her hair has just been freshly washed. She has gotten her deep conditioner and all that. I am adding the leave-ins right now. So I'm adding a leave-in conditioner. I'm adding a keratin treatment from Apogee and then I'm adding my heat protectant to make sure that I preserve all of her beautiful curls that she doesn't have any curl loss due to me adding direct direct heat to her hair during the blowout process when choosing the leave-ins that you're adding for your clients hair you want to make sure that they are super lightweight so that they are not weighing the hair down through the blowout process and so that they don't have a lot of products on their hair um, during the duration of their install. So always make sure you evenly distribute it and make sure that the products are super lightweight. So what you see me doing now is simply parting her hair. I'm just parting the back section of it. I find that it's best when ever dealing with super kinky hair to do small sections to make sure that you are thoroughly stretching the hair out from root to tip also to make sure that you don't have too much direct heat hitting that section of hair that you're blowing out so doing smaller sections helps with that and also it helps with detangling it's so much easier for me to detangle using small sections when it comes to kinky natural hair so you want to make sure that before you even go to add any type of heat to the hair that the hair is completely detangled which is what you see me doing here i'm taking really small sections of her hair depending on like what area it's in because the middle of her hair is much much thicker and it's going to require even smaller sections than this but you want to make sure that the sections that you grab are small enough to manage to where you can have full control over it when you are both detangling and when you are blowing the hair out so that's what i'm doing so to detangle as we all know you start from the tips of the hair and you work your way up as mentioned in many of my other videos, I always ask my clients to let me know if I'm hurting them um, throughout the process just to speak up. Um, so, yeah, she wasn't feeling any type of pain. I wasn't yanking her hair or anything. I was just detangling it to make sure that all of her kinks were out so that when it does come time for the actual blowout process where the direct heat is hitting her tresses, I don't have to have that direct heat on there for such a long time heat is absolutely not the devil <laughs> you can use heat on your natural hair you just have to find ways to where you don't have to have as much heat on it um, for a long period of time when it comes to your um, your blowout so yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to continue to do this for the rest of her hair taking sections parting them into smaller sections that I feel that I can work with really well, detangling her hair, two strand twisting it to get it out the way to let me know that it is detangled. And then we're going to move on to the next part of the blowout process.
All right, so here you see me finishing up. You see all the small sections that I have made as I have parted her hair into sections, detangled it, and twisted it up. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna sit her under the dryer for about 15 minutes under medium heat so that I can get all the excess water out of her scalp and out of her hair so that I don't have to have as much direct heat onto her hair as possible. The whole thing is figuring out how the heat works best for your hair. And I figured out that for kinky hair, the less direct heat, the better. So initially I started her blow out on high heat, high speed, but I noticed that as I was blowing her hair out that it was drying a lot quicker than it was stretched for my liking. So I changed it to medium heat, high speed. And that usually works very well for me. I'm not really sure why I started the other way first, but I don't know. Maybe I just had like a forgetful moment. I'm not sure. But anyways, you see me right there correcting myself. But yeah, look how easy it is to go through her hair. So what you do is you take each section that you have, you unravel the twist. I make sure that it is, you know, pretty stretched out. So what you see me doing is stretching it. And I am going to go through her ends a couple of times because I don't want her ends to dry clumped up. So I go through her ends, but for the most part at the beginning, as I'm drying her hair, I go up and down the shaft with the hair, with the comb, comb attachment of the blow dryer, excuse me, to make sure that her hair is being stretched out as I am drying her hair. So holding her hair out is so much better. Oh, here I'm adjusting it actually. I thought I was adjusting on the last one. <laughs> but holding, stretching the hair out and doing indirect heat along the shaft of the hair going up and down really makes a difference it helps with the hair being extremely flowy afterwards afterwards excuse me and free and easy to comb through and things like that so i'm just going to continue doing the same thing i make sure that the hair is stretched out i detangle the ends in the beginning because remember i don't want the ends to be clumped up i don't want it to dry clumped up as i'm going along the shaft of the hair once i feel like it's dry enough and while well, as i've been stretching it out i then go through with my comb attachment excuse me i'm so sorry i then go through my comb attachment and continue to comb through the section making sure it is fully detangled this part right here i kid you not all of this thick hair takes me about 13 to 15 minutes to do this part so all together, I'll say the actual blowout probably takes about 30 minutes. Um, don't forget that I have, um, well, I'll say about 35 minutes because I do detangle the hair. I sit her under the dryer, under the dryer and then, you know, to get all the excess water out and then I go to blow her hair out. So this may even take about 10 minutes to be honest with y'all because I know for sure it only took me about 35 minutes to blow her hair out to do this whole portion after i've washed condition and detangled or wash and condition her hair i'm adding the detangle in there because it is a part of the blowout process so to detangle to sit under the dryer and to actually blow her hair out it took me about 35 minutes and I gotta tell you, I really like this technique. I've been doing this technique for some time now, and I do it with all of my clients, whether they have kinky hair or not. For the most part, um, I do it with all of my clients, unless their hair is like super loose curl or it's just super easily detangled or is detangled really well or thoroughly to where I don't have to. So yeah, I really like this for kinky natural hair because I don't have to put so much direct heat on it which also helps to preserve the curl it helps the hair not become dry because we all know that dry equals breakage so yeah it doesn't overly dry the hair out 
and it does get you ready for your protective style whatever that may be and for her we're actually putting in two feet in braids so i need to be able to get all of this super thick beautiful hair into two braids and it has to be neat so yeah this is my new and updated routine for blowing out kinky natural hair i want you all to try it I kid you not, it works very, 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 very well. The key to it is making sure that your hair is super duper duper, duper duper keeper <laughs> detangled so that you can easily go through it just like I'm going through. Even though this part or portion is sped up, I am able to easily go through those sections as I'm blowing out her hair because her hair is already thoroughly detangled and it already got a um it was already a head start from sitting under the dryer under medium heat to make sure that or to start her blowout process from her hair not being dripping drenching wet which will cause you to have to put more direct heat on it to make sure that her hair dries so and another thing that I like about putting the clients under the dryer first I like that because you're able to get the water out of not only the excess water of their hair, but you're able to make sure that their scalp is dry. I noticed back then before I started doing this technique that sometimes when it came to parting my client's hair after blowing it out, I would have to go back and redo the um, or try to blow the scalp portion out or sit them under the dryer afterwards because the scalp wasn't completely dry like when it came to me going to part their hair and things like that so this just make a smooth process when it comes to blowing out kinky natural hair for the protective style install that is to come so yeah i'm just gonna let you all continue to watch my video it's almost done i hope you guys try it if you do let me know what you think about the process and how it worked out for you as always, you know, like if you like the video, share it to somebody who you think may need it, comment on it and tell me your thoughts. And also don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on when I upload more videos when it comes to natural hair and hair care with protective styles. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you beauties next time. Oh, and I forgot to mention at the end of all of my blowouts, I make sure to keep it on high speed, but turn it down to the lowest heat setting, which is actually cool. And to do one more pass through, as we know, um, anything hot, hot water, hot air opens up the hair shaft and cold seals everything in. So I do one more pass through with the cool setting on high heat to seal that in. And these are the results so easy to just comb through it i have a rat tail comb in my hand a fine tooth comb and i'm able to easily comb through her hair from the roots to tips in preparation for her install